buddy Destruction Engine here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get massive experience on the Hypixel server. So let's get started. There's lots of different ways we can get XP on the server. We have options with slash tip. We can tip people on the servers. We can play games and you get about 2 to 5 XP based on the game. I think some games give about 20 but it's like long games like Mega Walls. Which it would be much quicker to get slower games. Uh, which, if you're going to play games for like 2 to 5 XP, I recommend finding a slow game that you're good at, like for instance, Sky Wars. Sky Wars is pretty slow, and I get pretty fast in it. So it only takes about 3 minutes, and then you get 5 XP if you win, or 2 XP if you lose. Uh, other games that are really fast, usually you can find the arcade games, or Quake Craft sometimes is pretty fast too. You can also do quests, so I'm, this one's a little bit longer. A lot of people know about this, where you can just open up your quest books, and there's all the different different quests that you can take. Just go long, go click, go back, go quick, go over here, go click, go over here, go click, go over here, go click. Now looking at all these quests, I've done all these, but more than likely there will be some places that for some reason do not register. Like let's say Quakecraft for instance. This quest did not register. So make sure you also go to all the areas and make sure that you got all the quests there. Now you may be saying, well, well, oh, huh, there's a quest that just finally registered. Eh. You may say, well, I'm not going to ever do Quakecraft. You still should grab it just in case you eventually play with a friend or something. And it's going to be very helpful to you uh, in case you do do that. Because then you'll get lots of experience and you'll get coins in that game based on if it's a coin-specific game. Like this one, you're going to get 1250 Quakecraft coins. Another awesome way is that you can play for about an hour. Let's see if I got one going through here. No, it doesn't look like I got one. And after you play for an hour, you will get 200 experience, which is not very much, but it's another way if you're just playing for 2 to 5 XP, uh, you can get quite a lot of points that way. Another main thing is you can do daily voting. Now, this is very important if you want XP. 5,000 experience. Now, I am level 27. And at level 27, um, I need 6, 64,000 experience. 5,000 is about, well, let's see, 13th, I think, of that. So it may not be very much, but you're going to have to do this so many days to get that much points. Now, here's what I like to do. This gets you a lot of coins. Uh, sorry, uh, experience. <laughs> In my opinion, I think this is the very best way of nothing out of everything. So you're going to want to right click your compass and you're going to want to go to all of the people who are currently have a network booster going. So I'm going to show you guys because I know a lot of people say, oh, that, that costs you coins. It does not cost you coins. I'm going to use a little bit of proof here. Let's go to some Skywars map. Let's see who's doing it. Mambo2811. Tip. Mambo2811. So it says 25 coins for you for being generous and 100 coins for MVP Mambo 2811 in Skywars. Now what this does is it actually gives you 100 XP here, but a lot of people are going to say, well you're just spending your coins, so it doesn't, it's not actually worth it because you're spending your coins for XP. Now this is wrong, a lot of people think this is, is how it works. I have 14386, I now have 14411, so I, got, I gained 25 coins. This isn't a bug, it takes 100 coins from the high pixels balance basically so it doesn't take it from your balance it takes from like the high pixel bank uh, I'm sure if, it, if you guys need a little bit uh, if that's not very easy to understand I can probably explain it a little bit better in the comments um, should be easy to understand though and then you also get a hundred karma I think you get karma multipliers I'm not sure if you get experience multipliers based on your ranks um, but I'm pretty sure you do get karma multipliers which if you guys do want to see a karma video on how to get massive karma, I can, I'll can, i gladly be able to do that. Now let's just give you an example. I have 100 XP from him. Let's see. 6, 4, 4, 2. And I'll get through this real quick here. And it seems as if I've gotten everybody, so we're done here. Let's see. And we had 6442. We now have 63, 63142. So that gave us 1300 experience. 
in theory, you can get, let's see, we got 13 gift grenades here. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 different games because these two are the same game from the same area. Um, so we got 15 different games uh, that we can get tips on. So we can get 1500 XP every single time we tip. So we can tip twice on a network booster so we can get 3000 an hour. If we're getting 3000 an hour and let's just say we only played for 3 hours in one day, we got 9000 experience that day. That's really good and it's going to give you lots of XP. Uh I can figure out that uh for me, I let's just say I was going to play for 5 hours that day. If I kind of work a little bit on my quest and I kind of do a little bit of that. Now I don't recommend trying to do the harder quests. If that's something that's very hard for you, it might be, it's going to be even quicker to do stuff like, uh, let's just say, let's see, let's see if I need one here. Let's say Waller, okay? Let's say you're decent at the walls and you win every every few times. Maybe it's going to be quicker to do that than try and work for like 10 hours. If it's going to take you 10 hours to get 78, 75, it may be quicker to just spend 15 minutes to get Waller or Space Mission, which is Quickcraft or Paintball or etc. Now, with this, let's say all the quest logs and all the tipping, and the games don't give very much uh, at all, and the voting, with all that, I can get about, let's say, 50,000 a day. If I play for, let's just say, six hours, I get about 50,000, is what I personally get. Uh, if I vote and tip everybody every single second that I can, though. Now that's kind of something you're going to have to get used to. Uh, when you start joining lobbies, you're going to want to start going like this and going, okay? You're, gonna, you're usually going to have to remember all the names. You don't have to remember them that well. Just say, okay, Grisius, okay? Just say, that doesn't sound familiar. Make sure you tip it. There you go. Some people will set a timer for 30 minutes, and then that'll be another easy way to remember. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything to do with guilds that'll relate to... XP, not that I know of. If there is, let me know, guys, in the comments, and I'll be able, to, I'll gladly uh, take this video down and repeat it or re-update it. I'll update this every time that it needs to be updated, and every time they add a new feature, I'll gladly update it. And if you guys want to see a Karma tutorial, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.